Thank you, Sophie. DR Congo's hopes that next month's Africa Cup of Nations took a massive blow today after Yannick Balassi was ruled out of the tournament. The Everton winger is to have knee surgery after scans confirmed that he suffered serious ligament damage against Manchester United on Sunday. Balassi is now expected to be out for most of the Premier League season. Now, Nigeria's victorious women's team are staging a sit-in in a hotel in Abuja in a protest about money. The Super Falcons, who won the Women's Africa Cup of Nations on Saturday, say they will not leave the hotel until they are paid the allowances and bonuses owed them by the Nigerian Federation for winning the competition. For more on this, we can cross live to our Nigeria football reporter, Oluwashina Okaleji. Oluwashina, you've been speaking to the players today. What have they been saying? Well, basically, yes, um, the players are really disappointed. Um, they said they would not leave the hotel until they've been paid. One of the players told me that they were in a meeting with the Nigerian Football Federation earlier today. They met with the general secretary and um, he has made promises that he would pay them the money, but they don't trust those promises. And what they want is that they want to be paid their money because they've worked hard for it. They've been promised in the past before the competition kicked off, but the NFF did not pay. Remember, this is not the first time that these problems will be happening between the Super Falcons, that's the women's team, and the Nigerian Football Federation. Twelve years ago, the Super Falcons refused to leave their hotel room in South Africa five days after winning the African Women's Championship, the 2004 edition. They only flew out of that country when the NFF settled its debts to them. So this time around, they said they are not going to leave. They want to be paid outstanding allowances and bonuses. They also want to be paid for winning their eighth title in Cameroon. Well, Oshina Okaleji, thank you very much. Now, Zamalek have pulled out of the Egyptian League. They are one of the biggest clubs, of course. The dramatic decision came.